and welcome to my channel. This is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl and uh, today is a very short video. I know I keep saying that but this time it's really going to be short. Um, I just wanted to let you know about a new product that is coming uh, to my Etsy shop. It's uh, well, maybe not a completely new product because I've already got paper packs or a paper pack in my shop but I wanted to create a um, kind of more kind of like a different uh, paper packs pack so I've got the scientist paper pack and I'm going to uh, put a link somewhere to the video I made about um, that um, paper pack but uh, what I also wanted to do is um, just have plain um, coffee dyed paper packs in the shop because the scientists one is a mix of coffee dyed papers I've got plain paper lined paper graph paper and um, coffee dyed um, book pages record card and a small envelope so it's a mix um, of different things in that paper pack but um, yeah as I said I would really like to have just plain uh, coffee dyed paper packs as well so um, I've added those and I'm also going to do them in um, different sizes and the coffee dyed paper packs um, you know that each piece of paper is going to look different they've all got sort of slightly different markings on them uh, and then also the paper because obviously it got wet it will be a little bit crinkly it will have this beautiful sound and uh, depending on how the paper has dried and how intense the coffee was um, you know they just all look a little bit different but yeah so that's the plan I'm going to have um, the plain paper pack so that's for one and then the other one is going to be a plain coffee dyed paper but with more detail because I've, I've been playing around with adding a few more details um, onto the paper as you can see we've got these um, um, coffee stains these mug stains and also a few more more details on the pages so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some packs with pages, I'll just show you a few, uh, where you've got kind of like more uh, coffee splotches, um, these really gorgeous uh, coffee mug stains, so they have more kind of, um, whereas these are just kind of like more or less plain coffee dyed pages even though they do have a little bit of a color mix in them and each is individual with these they're going to have a lot more detail to them and again they're all going to be completely different but i thought it might be nice to have smaller packs of pages that have kind of uh, more detail to them and I'm going to add those to my Etsy shop as well. And then also what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you how I'm uh, creating these. So at some point, hopefully I'll manage to do that really soon. I'm probably going to talk you through um, how I coffee dye um, my pages and then how I'm creating all those uh, little details so you can do that at home as well. But for now I'm going to list both of these um, packs. They both come in, in, in different sizes. So there will be, I think I'll probably start with five pages, then go to 10 pages and possibly then 20 max, definitely 20 um, for these. For the plain paper, uh, for the other ones, because I haven't got that many yet, I'm just um, starting to work on having, uh, you know, a stock of of the coffee mug stain uh, papers. Uh, so I'll probably have packs of five and ten for these at the moment. 
but it also really depends on what people want so if if they say they they would like to have kind of like bigger uh, uh packs for the plain paper then obviously i start listing bigger packs for those as well uh, i've also got a few other products lined up um, but i still need to finish them uh, there are a few labels i need to to finish for those and then i can shoot a video i also need to take some pictures for etsy so that i can do that both at the same time um publish this video and then also so that there is a link to my etsy shop okay i now really have to stop because otherwise this isn't a short video as i promised well i hope you're all doing really well and i hope to see you very soon bye